I come from this land of subtle nuances, traditions, and colors, where the wind is free to carry its songs at will, while the sun shines over the fields, feeding my parents and siblings with its light and warmth. I originated hundreds of years ago in a place where reality and myth came together in time turning to legend. A legend told by parents to children for many generations until the present day. According to my ancestors, more than four centuries ago, the indigenous Nahuatl tribes that inhabited these lands worshiped the agave plant because of the numerous and generous bounties that they received from it. And then the fire came. The fire that runs through the blood when you are fighting for something. The fire that defeats the enemy but makes you respect him as well. One April morning, as in an eternal ritual, some men interrupted my sleep. A long dream of ten years was cut in an instant, or better said, by the solid cut of steel. A feeling I had never experienced led me to dream again. I was free. I was life. I was everlasting. I was not an agave plant anymore but the voice of a culture starting to write its own history, starting with the very same phrase with which all the stories begin. Once upon a time, in a town called Tequila. The history of Tequila symbolizes to a great extent the history of Mexico, of its people and traditions. Proud of its roots, Tequila is a spirituous drink that gets better as time passes. With its great flavor and exquisite aroma, tequila is protected as an appellation of origin. This means that tequila can be produced exclusively in a specific geographical territory, which is located within the borders of Mexico. Nature and humans combine to define why tequila deserves acknowledgement as a drink with appellation of origin. Due to the fact that it can only be produced in one region of the planet, and therefore, similar drinks that may be produced in other parts of the world cannot and should not be considered tequila. It is because of this that both the authenticity and quality of tequila are regulated by an official Mexican standard. This standard establishes two categories of tequila. Tequila 100% made of agave and tequila. Tequila 100% made of agave is totally produced with the sugars from the Tequilana Weber Blue Variety agave plant. The other category, tequila, is distilled with 51% sugars from the Tequilana Weber Blue Variety Agave plant. There are five types of tequila that can be produced. White tequila, young or golden tequila, aged tequila, extra aged tequila, and ultra aged tequila. All of them delight equally the most demanding palates of refined taste and perhaps less sophisticated tastes that still know how to enjoy a good drink. The norms also establish the possibility of producing flavored tequilas. In this case, only sweeteners, colorings, and flavorings authorized by the Ministry of Health can be added. In keeping with a long tradition, 
The extraction of the heart of the agave plant, also known as pineapples or piñas, is practiced today the same way it was practiced hundreds of years ago. The agave plant reproduces during the first years of its life. The offshoots of the agave are cut and grown in other growing fields within the territory protected by the appellation of origin. After a long period of seven to ten years, the pineapple is extracted from the soil, and from this moment the old processes are left to history, and the present comes into play. Tons of agave plants ready to be cooked are stored in large capacity ovens. This task, performed by the Taona in the past, is now performed by sophisticated machines that squeeze the cooked pineapples and extract the precious contents. The juice, or must, that comes from this process is then fermented in huge tanks for about three days. Once fermented, the must undergoes a careful double distilling process which results in tequila. With care and patience, tequila is stored in white or home oak barrels, where it is kept for either months or years in order to achieve the aged, extra-aged, and ultra-aged tequilas. Every day, thousands of liters of tequila are bottled for distribution and consumption in Mexico and around the world. The United States, Europe, South America and Asia enjoy the pleasures of this drink, a gift from Mexico to the world. The export rate of tequila is increasing year after year as a result of the hard work of the tequila agro industry, which offers a product of homogeneous quality wherever it is sold. In order to reach this point, all the agave farmers, tequila producers, bottlers and distributors formed the Tequila Regulatory Council, an autonomous organism accredited by the Mexican government with the purpose of verifying, promoting, certifying, researching and supervising everything related to tequila. The objective of the Tequila Regulatory Council is to give national and international consumers the guarantee and confidence that the tequila they are consuming is a certified beverage that complies with established quality standards. To obtain this, the Tequila Regulatory Council applies several controls and audits that allow it to guarantee the authenticity of the tequila manufacturer. In the field, the blue variety Tequilana Weber Agave producer must register his agave plantations with the Regulatory Council. This way, the agave produced is directly linked with the tequila industry guaranteeing its use once the plants are ready for processing. For tequila sold in bulk, the Regulatory Council has a list of registered bottling companies where all authorized bottlers of this beverage in Mexico, North America, and Europe are listed. These companies are periodically audited to guarantee the tequila produced is untainted. Because tequila is part of the Mexican culture, it is the responsibility of the Tequila Regulatory Council to protect the appellation of origin, both in Mexico and any other part of the world. To this end, the Council has opened offices in strategic places around the planet. The Tequila Regulatory Council certification is a guarantee of the authenticity of tequila in Mexico as well as in the rest of the world. The enjoyment of drinking an authentic tequila is one of the most exquisite pleasures that Mexico has shared with the world and that people around the globe have learned to appreciate. The preference and popularity that tequila has gained at home and abroad means that things are being done the right way. Investment in the growth of the agave plant, technology, training, 
and research have brought tequila to a place that was previously reserved for others. For all of these reasons, tequila, besides being a tradition of exquisite aroma and flavor, is also a synonym of economic development, a noble spirit of great value, character, and extraordinary dimension, a spirit that writes its own history and gives us the opportunity to achieve immortality. What better than tequila to do all of this and more for us? Passionate, bold, and impetuous, tequila is undertaking what will perhaps be its greatest adventure to obtain the place it deserves. That place of legends and dreams available only to those drinks of a noble heart, pure origin, and unbeatable spirit.